conscience of the court. If you are told that 25,000 people who walked in the, into the polling stations in Kirinyaga voted for the presidential candidate and did not vote for anyone else. It's really amazing. I will expect a variance because of the small stray ballots here and there, or maybe the prisons and diaspora, but it will not be 25,000. It's something should be exp that is explainable. And that is why they are, the petitioners are wrong on the data, they are wrong on the numbers. And I will also demonstrate they are very wrong on the, even the ICT. Uh, I will add on to uh, what uh, George, uh, Eric Gumbo had also submitted. There are two allegations that are being made that the Form 34, uh, and, uh, 34A, and, and I, I want to explain this to the court. So there, we have three audit trails or three verification processes for the court. The first I mentioned, it's the EVI, the Electronic Voter Identification. We have given the Kim's return to the court. So the court will look at the Kim's returns and look at the AOL, well, the tally. The second one is when the Form 34A is being sent, and I've I've seen a lot of wild allegations being made, and I want to, to, to just uh, explain this to the court. At the end of the polling, what happens is the kit it converts itself into an RTS system, a result transmission system. The PO scans a QR code. It gives him a transition system. So it tells him, OK, Mr. PO, what do you want to transmit? Enter your, uh, uh, enter your PIN. He will enter his code. It gives him a, a query. You tell him, what do you want to do? He says, I want to transmit 34A. He tells him, OK, can you confirm the following checks have happened? And that's a validation check. Can you confirm that this form is signed by a PO? He says, yes. Can you confirm that this form is signed by a DRO, a, de a, a deputy PO? He says, yes. Can you confirm this form is a 34A? He says yes. Can you confirm this form has been sent by the agents? He says yes. So after saying all that, then he tells him, take, a, take an image. And, and there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of things being bandied here about, about the image. The, and we can provide, uh, I think we've done training for the, for the IBC has done training for everyone, for LSK and the judges. And this is something that we can even provide if the kits are required. The kits takes an image embedded in it it has a scanner in the image that is embedded in the KIMS. So it's taking the image and it's taking the image and scanning it as a PDF. We don't have any other output. We don't, and there's a reason why I'll explain to you why, why that input is being, is, is being made, uh, why, why it's like that for, for purposes of the security and, 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 and the other purposes. He takes the image. It actually tells him if the image is not clear, it will tell him your image is not clear. Please retake it. So he takes his image and he presses send. That image travels from that, it is gone. He cannot recall, in fact, even if he doesn't net, ha, does not have network, it will tell him the image has been sent, it will arrive when it will arrive. That image cannot be recalled in PDF, there's nothing that can be called, that scanned image in PDF, there's nothing that can be done about it. That is gone. When he gets a network, or immediately if he has network, it will hit uh, our portal. Now, when he hits our portal, it's something akin to something, someone who's coming in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is as established by the Constitution, and it has juris the jurisdiction by the court is limited by the Constitution. So those forms answer some jurisdiction questions before they are admitted into the public portal. What are those questions? So they ask, okay, you have come here, you have come into the court, if you want to sit here inside the court, answer the following question. They are asked, are you a 34A? He says, yes, I am a 34A. Okay, do you confirm that you come from the code of the polling station? So it has a code of the polling station. So we will, it will run against the polling station codes, it will confirm. Then it is asked, okay, we've confirmed you are an A, We've confirmed that you are from the code of the polling station provided to us because all our polling stations have specific codes. Then we ask them. Then it's asked the third question. Do you come from a serial number of our kit? Then he answers, yes, I am from the serial number of the kit. If it is another form which is coming, are you from, if it's not from a serial number, it checks. It tells, no, you can't come in here. You have no jurisdiction. So it tells, do you come from a serial number of our kit? 
He says, yes. Then it's asked, do you come from the, the SIM card that has been provided officially that we have the list for from the various provider? It answers yes. Then it's given two security features, which are very important for the court. So it's given two security features. It is given a date stamp. And I urge the court to interact with the public portal. I want to confirm to the court 800 million uh, persons access our portal. It did not even blink for a second. Its security, its firewalls, and the, and the SOC are military grade. And in fact, a lot of the allegations that are coming from the other side is, people are so frustrated in trying to hack our system is, why is your system so good? Our system is so good because it's based on blockchain. It actually, what it does, it actually gives resources as is required. If the 50 million Kenyans logged in now to our portal, it will give them without even stuttering whatever form they want. And it will allocate resources on how many people. Out of those 380 million people, 300 million were Kenyans who downloaded, who looked at the result. So after asking that, it gives two things. It gives a timestamp. The form is given a timestamp. And it's given a date stamp. Now, without one of the allegations of staging falls away. So someone is telling you, Someone captured a form, amended it, returned it. I am telling you, all my forms have a date and timestamp to the millisecond. And there is no one form that has been transmitted at the same time. And in fact, if you look at the portal, you will see that. You open the portal, if you look at the tab of the portal, it will say 34A. It will tell you the polling station. It will tell you the Kim serial. It will tell you the date the form came. And how precise is this system? Some of those forms came on the date of the election. Some of the forms, because of tallying, came a day later. Some of them came at, uh, two days later because of the elections in Eldas. And it will give you the time sum to the millisecond. And actually, if you look at it, so if someone is telling you, oh, we had staging of 11,000 forms, you will expect that to the millisecond, right, to the millisecond, you will get 11,000 forms which have been uploaded. And I want to inform the court, there is no one who can upload the Form 34A. Form 34A are only transmitted from the Kims by the PO. Neither Wafula Chebukati, nor Hussein Marjan, nor Boya Molu, nor anyone else can upload Form 34A. Form 34A is transmitted from the polling station, goes, and that is the end of that story. And once it goes, it asks those questions. Now, our forms are designed that way. Why? Some of the forms that have been brought to you, and with due, tremendous respect, I, was, I, I spend a lot of time with my ICT people and look at some. Some of those forms are doctored forms. Why are they doctored? Because of the audit trail that will not allow anyone to be able to actually not be able to verify our forms. Why? So I told you about the EVID and the KIMS. Returns plus the form. So these forms have three manual processes and three electronic processes that check each other for the court. And this is very important for the court to actually assess those allegations. So what are the three manual processes? PO fills the forms, gives to the agent. Paste it there. Okay? Travel, so the first one. If you had an agent there, you will get your form. Or it will be in the polling station. It will be stamped in the polling station. The second one is, okay, I didn't have a PO. What check do I have? So I will both someone who did not have an agent and person who had. So if I didn't have an agent in the polling station, that form travels to the arrow. What does the arrow do with the form? His PO will sit there. He'll tell him, I have received the form in the portal. I want to confirm the form you have brought me is the same as the portal. Is it the same serial number? Is it from that Kim's kit? Does the tally agree with what is in the portal? He has a back end for his B, because he has to start populating his B. So he takes the form. So we allow at the counseling tallying center to have agents. If you want copies of the form, can be given. So if you didn't have agent at the polling station, you can still get your form at the uh, constituency tallying center. So say you didn't have an agent at the constituency tallying center, you didn't have an agent at the polling station. You, we bring the form out to the national tallying center. And I think this is what, the reason why this court made the decision that the chairman must verify each and every form. 
And courts will take judicial notice of what's going on in Bomas. We had 14 verification desks. The arrow will come. I had the pleasure of actually going through the process. The arrow will come. He will be told, okay, you've come with your forms. Sit. He will be admitted. And then the verification desk will have all the four agents for all the presidential candidates. We take the forms as they are. We make copies of the originals for them. Remember, they have their agents' forms. We make copies of the original. We tell them, okay, these are the copies of our original. Have your agents' forms, compare with our originals, but also what we are going to do is not a verification process. We'll do a forensic audit for you. We'll, we'll call the arrow. He will sit on the table there. He will go form by form. Is it the same serial number? Is it from that polling station? We provided microtext readers. We provided watermark readers of the originals. The agents are seated there. They will check, and they will look at it. And the form will have the IEBC. It will have the watermark reader. It will have everything. So even if you don't have the forms at the CTC and at the polling station, and you had the form at the uh, constituency, uh, and you are given the form as the, at, the, at the NTC, you could still verify and actually check. After that, we'll, they will go to an ICT desk. The ICT now will confirm whether those forms and what is in the portal is the same. And some of the persons who've sworn some of the affidavits in the petition were seated in, on those tables. The ICT will open up this portal. He said, oh, this is the public portal. I am looking at the form. Let's confirm what is in the form, what is in the Do they tally? They tally. If there's any issue, we do an error report, which we have provided to the court. We'll pro we have provided error report to them. That process is documented. And even if you didn't have all those agents, then you had an opportunity to do at the at the National Tallying Center. After that, we tell them, okay, we've started populating the sea. Now, have you verified this polling station? Yes. Okay, now we put that into our sea. And the idea that the sea was kept on changing and some officers had, had access to the sea, actually that allegation falls off. Why? 14 officers, and we've attached that into the affidavit of uh, Martin Nyaga, including the chairman's PA, Mr. Abdi Dair, who is a registered, uh, uh, who is a, a returning officer, and, and 14 other persons were mandated to actually do that verification process on the table. There's a process for them to be given that access. And the access, what access do they have? People are burning up a lot of things, servers and things like that. So there are three applications level in any system. You will have the, 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 the application, you will have the operating system and the network, okay? So everyone has access. So they have access for the verification of the 34C. So they'll be told, we're putting in this polling station to the C. Are you OK with it? Does this tally with what is in the original? They will say, yes, that is populated. When we finish for one constituency, we print that aspect of the Form 34C. Because Form 34C is something that is gradual. The verified form from the form that has traveled from Kipini in Lamu to the CTC, constituency tallying center, through, through the portal, physically through BOMAS, through the verification decks of the agents and the people complaining here, uh, now, will now, they are told, are you okay if we put into the sea? It's put into the sea. It's printed out and that is what was being announced. So if you got the logs for the sea, it will say, Maha, uh, the person who's authorized printed out a C because it was being announced. Some of the commissioners now complaining were announcing those forms. And it's criminal. It will go on until, until we finish. Now, coming back to the form. So the first security feature is if you look at the portal I've indicated, it has all those. But we put security features to enable the court and everyone to authenticate our forms. If you open our forms in Acrobat Reader, you will get a signature panel. you will get a signature panel. And the signature panel is able to tell you the path of valid valid validation of our forms. It will tell you that this form, in fact, the timestamp you'll get on the signature panel is the same as the timestamp where that form was received at the portal. And I've, 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 I've projected, your ladyship have projected there. And if you are a good acrobat, it will tell you, it, has, it will give you a signature panel. It will tell you that this form was not first modified. If you have any, any PDF form uh, document and you have modified it, it will tell you this document was modified on this date by XYZ. 
it will tell you this form has not been modified from that day. It will also give you a, a signing, a signature. You see that, that time there? That is the time that is on the, when it was received on the portal. It's the same time, time stamp that when you open any form on the portal, it will indicate. So the allegation that forms were intercepted, staging happened, the, 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 the authentication of, of our forms are, are, very, are very robust. So the second one now. So, someone, so how is someone able to prove that the, the, our forms do not tally with what is in the portal? You only have to do one thing. You have to download our forms from the portal, get a, a relatively good Photoshop, and change the numbers on the tally. And I'll come to those allegations where the 34A in the portal are the same as what was given to the agents. We have provided 44 affidavits from various POs. Some of our POs who are Kenyans have had a very sleepless night. Allegations have been made against them that they have, the forms they, were, they brought to the ROs were different from what was brought, what was announced. The allegations of an affidavit made by someone should be checked against the affidavits of each and every polling station clerk and polling uh, presiding officer who we have endeavored to give the affidavits to the court. And we have given 44 affidavits for presiding officers on these allegations and many more affidavits for the, uh, for the returning officers. So the only way you will be able to show is you have to check, for, print out our form, and the problem with that one is because you cannot do anything about this, where the agents and everything sign, you have to get a Photoshop, amend it to JPEG, get a Photoshop and actually re just remove with a tally. But like every other plan, it has a lot of weaknesses. And the first weakness you will get is, and the first thing they say is, in Gaina polling station in Tiati, that their agent provided them a form. And this is really important for the court. We say untruths have only one leg. They don't have two legs to, to stand on. The truth stands firm. They say in Gaina polling station, and this is in the affidavit of Anolo Chieng, that their agent provided them a form. The form is different to what is in the portal. If you look at what is in the portal, that is in the affidavit of uh, Moses Unkuli, and even the form he is attached himself, it says there was no agent in Gaina polling station. We haven't even gone to authentication and the verification of the process and the form. And I will show that why this is a bad Photoshop gone wrong. So the first allegation is in Gaina polling station, their agent gave them a form. The tally for the presidential candidate is different from that. Guess what? The form they provided does not indicate it, uh, there was no agent. And even our portal says there was no agent for any candidate. Not only for them. In Gaina, there was no agent for, I don't know why the, the parties didn't send an agent there. Maybe because of security in Tiati, or, or we don't know. But there was no agent for anyone. He says, I had an agent, and this is his tally. So to the question that whether the forms the forms provided by the agents are the same as what is in the portal, the court will, has to come to one conclusion. They are, those forms that are being provided in those stations are doctored. They are forgeries, and bad forgeries at that. The first paragraph of that affidavit says so. The other thing you'll notice, that what they have attached, we were very deliberate why our kids, Kim's kit will have an imaging software embedded and sent in PDF. One is because of the security I've indicated. The second one is because, since it is black and white, and, and agents will be taking pictures of the form, we wanted to, to, to differentiate between what the agents are taking with their form and what we are sending ourselves. So what have they done? 
Our forms have been printed from the portal, converted to JPEG, numbers fudged. But the problem is, all the background for those forms are our Kim's kit. It's what we sent in the portal. And I've indicated that in the affidavit of Moses Unkuli. The second and the more problematic thing, and analytically the court will ask, is it possible that 44 agents all over Kenya will take pictures of forms in black and white, the same as the background of our Kim's kit? And the reason is because of the robustness of our processes. Because we have a manual check and we also have an electronic check. The manual check I have described, the electronic check, the EVI, the second electronic check I have described how our forms arrive. So if someone made an allegation that, oh, the form of my agent is different from what I have, the court should ask, okay, we have a portal, we have IEBC POs who are saying something else. We have the original, which has gone different stages. How come it's only your form? And what is five, your ladyship, I, I want to point out to the court, is the only thing that has been amended in those forms is the number of tallies. Why have they done that? To tell the court, oh, look, IEBC portal is different from what we have. Okay, if you are thinking, and, we, and, and, and the challenge that I have been given, uh, by uh, uh, the challenge that I've been, I've been told by my ICT people is we will leave the, our portal open for another year. If any one of these uh, people who are alleging anything, let them go upload one form. And we took our constitutional duty very seriously to give that audit trail to the court for the court to be able to make a, a determined decision. I will mention three things on ICT. The first one is John Gidongo has given us an affidavit which we have answered with uh, Martin Nyaga's affidavit. He has given forged logs. And when, when we actually answered and actually told him these are forged logs from 2017, he said, oh, these are demo, but these are the real ones. But I think the court should look at the real logs. For example, one of the logs that is charged is the one for Justice Nyangaya. Justice Nyangaya attached Linux cron logs. The ladyship is, is like, and he says these people had access. It's easy to read those logs. They do not mention, no one of those people had access. It's like someone telling you, as you are using your computer, it's running background information. It will give a lot of, a lot of the OS will be running. It gives a lot of information. And someone says, oh, Emma had access the laptop of, of, of the judges and did this. And the information that person is giving you is the OS system. Oh, this server, uh, the, uh, the, the, there was an update of this program, there was this. If there was any evidence of that, you should provide something that says, uh, this person access at this day on this, at this time. So the, even the logs which are attached to Jason Yangai's affidavit are not, are not things that will bear out the allegations they are making. The second thing that I want to mention to the court is the affidavit, a lot of people have, have made uh, the, the submissions by the petitioners was, that the affidavit of Benson Wesonga and, and John Joroge proves there was access. We've answered those affidavits and you will really, it will surprise this court that Joroge says, I audited the IEBC system. And in answering the first question, we told him, that is a criminal offense. How do you have access to the IEBC system? Which, of course, is a lie. Then he attaches logs. Some of them cooked up, but some of them we've answered. So for example, he says, the chairman's PA a gentleman of repute and an advocate of this court who has been a row all over the country, who was part of the 15 people who were doing verification on the bomber's desk, who all the agents were present when they were making the verification of the C. Oh, him he accessed and two other people. How many times? 1,000 times. First, what did they access? 
I told you, no one can access or upload anything apart from the Kim Sone. They what they accessed was at the verification panel for the C, and all the agents were there. Did they require the chairman to sit there entering manually the 46? And in fact, we have attached the authorization for each and every person who was seated on that table. And talk should, the court should take judicial notice of what was going on in Bomas and the constitutional time relating to the, uh, to the seven day. Those people had access, the agents were there, everyone was there, and of course, they will verify. He verified 1,000, another person will verify 800. They are Kenyans who have not slept for five, six days to actually undertake a constitutional duty of a higher calling. Not well remunerated people who hadn't slept for six, seven days. They are actually, what they are doing is, oh, I, they access, yes, what were they supposed to do? They will access the, the, the RTS panel for the C. They will verify you are there. The deponent was on the floor of bombers. Choroge was there. Their agents were there. Their ICT was there. And the court should make note of there was no one allegation that a form that is in the portal was different than an original which they had verified as it relates to the tally. So there's another argument that they say, oh, our client, uh, their, the petition of votes were deducted and added to this. We told them, show us the proof. How are they deducted? We have seven proofs. So in, in mathematics, you use proofs to prove a point, uh, to prove knowns and unknowns. We have seven proofs. We have our arrows at the, at the polling station. They had agents. You had agents at the CTC. We have the original. You have agents at the NTC. We have original. We have what is transmitted in the portal. We have original. All of them tally, and you are saying your client's votes were deducted. How? I will mention a small issue on the register. I want to note the court, we understood the issues as framed by the court as those issues. The issue of the register was not one of the issues. We have answered in the par uh, at paragraph 85 of Hussein Marjan and Michael Omar's affidavits. We did an audit as per the law. The audit was given as required by the law, was transmitted to the speaker of both houses. We did a resolution of most of those audit processes. We have documented what has been done. 262,000 deceased people were removed. There were some Kenyans who had registered both with their passport and IDs. And that process of audit is an ongoing process. We will endeavor to complete it, but I want to confirm to the court that that audit process undertook, and we acted on that audit process, and we went to a, with a clean register. With the elections. An allegation was made that, oh, your client was printing 34 A's, many of them to actually do something untoward. We want to tell the court, and we have put before the court, that the reason that was, was actually done, book two of two and book one of one, is to ensure that as many Kenyans as possible had copies of the 34A. So you have a form 34A, and if you printed only six copies, one, copies, one copy goes to the ballot box. One copy is supposed to be attached to the polling station. Those are two copies. Four copies are supposed to be given to presidential uh, 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 copies to the presidential candidate. Then we have an issue that a copy has to go to the arrow. And what we did is we, we, we wanted to print many copies of the A's for the purposes of the result. And the reason why, because the carbon copy, if you reach six and you are actually writing on the carbon copy that you are giving copies of, when you reach the third copy, it will not even be able to, you will not be able to read it. When that happened, 
the petitioners, together with religious leaders, traveled to Greece, and they, and, and they raised an issue. They said they did not want book two of two. So what did we do? We just gave instructions. We had a meeting with them. The same was shared by the chairman. The chairman, the same directive was given to our officers, and when they opened the polling stations, book two of two was being put in the ballot box. 34, two of two. An allegation was made, and, and this is, I, 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 I think my, my ICT people have told me they actually want to buy the patent of this technology, that, I, that a JPEG of handwritten document can be converted to C, CSV amended on a form that has signatures and watermark and converted back to PDF and uploaded. If such technology exists, we actually want to buy its patent. It's actually impossible to do that. And that is why all of the forms that have been submitted, the only thing that can be done is you have to just look at the tally numbers and try to use Photoshop to change the tally numbers. You can't do that. Because the verification process has eight stages. This form is widely available from the village to the NTC that for someone to say that, oh, my 34A has been tampered with, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's impossibility. To just conclude, the petitioner's case says 500,000 Kenyans who conducted the elections, POs, deputy POs, ROs, and everyone, conspired against them. That is, the numbers don't pan out. The allegations of the form don't pan out. And the question I kept on asking, and this court should ask is, what if on the day of the election, God forbid, that the RTS system of IEBC collapsed? And the only thing that is available to this court are original form 34A. Will this court say, since your RTS system collapsed, there is no election that you held? That the franchise and the vote of the Kenyan cannot be gotten from those ballot boxes and those forms. And the second question, and which is really, and we have indicated that in the firewalls and the affidavit of Hila Kavogo, and the, how robust our system was, and how many, who, who tried to, 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 to do that. The other question is, 300 million Kenyans access that portal. They know the results as indicated. Those results can be verified from the forms, original available, from the forms of the agent. And I think the court should make a determination that their numbers don't add up. The allegations of the form fall flat on what we have demonstrated. And the allegations relating to forms in the portal being different from what their agents have are an attempt to actually present the court with evidence that it forged. And the court should actually look at those documents, look at those forged logs, and take necessary action against any officer who will have presented those logs or documents. Allegations have been made about Gudino and access. You will find in the affidavit of Hila Kavogo, those people were leads who were actually providing 
ICT help in the, at the level of the systems. And every person was logged off from our system on the 8th of August. There is an email we have attached to the affidavit as it relates to that. Anyone who had access to our systems was someone who was authorized to do. And finally, and I, I, the court should ask the question, whether the 50% plus one was met. And, and, and to that question, your ladyship, the late Justice Antonin Scalia, whenever he went to give lectures uh, uh, to all over the United States, everyone used to ask him about Bush v. Go. And he will, he, will, he will know whether someone is a Republican or a Democrat as to the question they will ask. And his answer will be, get over it. It's over. So to 50 plus 1, the court made its determination in 2013 on the vote cast and valid votes and the rejected ballot. Rejected are not votes. Votes is an authentication of preference. There's nothing called rejected votes. That's a rejected ballot. The court emphatically made that decision in 2013 and in 2017. To the petitioner's answer as to that, I think the simple answer will be get over it. With those few remarks, I yield the floor. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, my colleague, Mr. Mahat. Madam Chief Justice, Madam Deputy Chief Justice, honorable members of the court, may it please you, I am called upon to look at issues number eight and nine on the materiality question and on reliefs. My Lord, in, in view of the sorry, time, sorry, I will not go sorry, into- Sorry, counsel, uh, for our-